Hey guys, uh, this is Dom D the Great, and today we are doing something a bit different, which is actually I am doing a commentary over this video. And I thought about it a long time, and I've just decided that there's a few things that maybe I have to go through, you know, discuss. Because uh, my channel has been going through a bit of a hard time, and so is the community actually, so that's some of the stuff that I'm going to discuss with today. And it could be a long video, I mean there's a lot of stuff that I mean to cover, you know, the future of my channel of Assassin's Creed Multiplayer. And actually I want to talk about um, some of the drama actually that's been affecting me and a lot of players over the past year or so. So yeah, let's get into it. Um, this is my first commentary so you can expect a few ums and ahs and, and likes and such, but and I might be a bit hard to understand because for those of you who don't understand I am from the um, United Kingdom so my accent is a bit different to what you're used to you know maybe the American accent and all that stuff but anyway let's get on so so firstly let's let's go through the uh, future of my channels as some of you know I don't find Assassin's Creed multiplayer interesting anymore I'm gonna admit I've kind of stopped playing it like I still play AC3 and ACR but Frankly, I just don't enjoy AC4 multiplayer, like, especially Assassinate. I mean, I don't know, it's just not interesting to me anymore, like, after playing it for such a long time, I've kind of got over it, and the community on AC4 is, is dead, to be honest, like, you can rarely find players playing Assassinate, so I've just got bored of it, really, I mean, Destiny, in my opinion, is a more enjoyable game, and I will be playing that, and I'll be uploading that, but you never know, in the future if this commentary does well I might well do commentaries and I might actually do uh, a few maybe even tips videos on Assassin's Creed multiplayer because actually I have been asked by several people to do tips on Assassinate and even Deathmatch strangely even though I hate that mode and don't play it very well but <laughs> oh well so you never know in the future you could expect that and actually if multiplayer does come back which to quote Wayne Davies, until um, Ubisoft deny that's coming back, I honestly think that will. I mean, I'm guessing most of you saw the video I put up on it, um, the confirmed video, where in fact an employee of Ubisoft does confirm that Assassin's Creed multiplayer is indeed coming back. So I kind of watched that, and it's convincing actually. I, I believe multiplayer will come back with the next installment, whether or not it will be the same as the multiplayer we're used to. Is remains to be seen. I mean, I hope it isn't, but it is to some extent, if you know what I mean. Like, if it's completely different, I might not enjoy it, but if it's the same, too samey, it'll get boring quickly, but that's their cool. I mean, we'll find out when we get to that, but until then, I will be uploading mainly Destiny. I mean, I'll be uploading AC3 Assassinate still, but, but yeah, mainly uh, Destiny. Okay, so we're going to move on to the topic that I really wanted to discuss today which is the arguments and so-called drama that's been happening in the uh, AC community over, I'd say, definitely the past year now. And basically, I get a lot of questions, you know, why why do you do it, stuff like that, what is your issue, so to speak, but frankly, it's hard to explain. Okay, so when I first got into AC multiplayer, you know, I, I used to watch a lot of YouTubers, I used to enjoy their videos, and stuff like that, but as I kind of got better and began to to know more people around the community, uh, friends of mine, I kind of realised that you know their, their videos weren't great, but I, I don't care about that. I'm not someone who's going to judge people's gameplay and YouTube accounts on their videos because I'm not a shy person. And even today, I still watch a lot of people who, frankly, aren't amazing at AC multiplayer, but I enjoy their commentaries. They're nice people, you know. I watch their videos, but. I have a problem with people who like they're not good personally they're not nice people and yet they gain respect in the community and the community you know they they tend to support these players even though perhaps they're not the right people to support I mean I'm not saying that you should be supporting me I mean I'm definitely not perfect <laughs> but I don't know so anyway so I never really had a problem with these people, you know, I wasn't one to judge based on rumours, a lot of my friends were saying, oh, so-and-so, she's a bitch or whatever, you shouldn't 
like her, but frankly, I, I just ignore it. I was never someone who got involved in the community, especially before my YouTube channel. I just didn't really see the point, but last year, like in January, um, what started it all kind of was a certain series that some people may know of a, um, about drama in the community. And actually, at first, I found the series quite entertaining. I mean, the person that was uploading it maybe I didn't really like particularly based on what my friends were saying, but I, I had no problem against them personally. But then the way that she was biased and kind of attacking people and that were my friends or people who I kind of saw as innocent, so to speak, it was appalling to be completely honest. I mean, maybe I'm taking it too seriously, but the series wasn't fair, so to speak. So, so as any person would, I kind of complained about it. You know, I said, oh, it's not right, it's not good. People are getting hurt by this. I mean, people did leave Twitter and the AC community because of this series. But what I didn't expect was to be kind of insulted or kind of criticised by friends of this player. Like, high-ranking members of the community who were backing up purely because of who she was and how big she was in the community. And that's where this problem comes from, is the fact that these people are being defended against just because of who they are, their status in the community, so to speak, even though most of them, you know, they're not the best people as a personality, you know, some of them, their commentaries aren't entertaining and their gameplay isn't good and people love them, but that's not the point, that's not why I don't like these people, like I said, I'm not going to judge them on that, but it's when they start attacking people, uh, personally, my friends, etc. That's when there's a problem. I mean, people see me as the antagonist quite a bit, but really, I was not the one who started this. I really wasn't. Um, but yeah, so it went on for a while, and I made a few mistakes, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't the most mature person, like, I'm, I'm still not today, if anyone follows my Twitter account, you'll know I have a tendency to, to be, I'm not gonna say insulting, but just bang on and on about these players but frankly it's I have a good reason to because when it gets out of hand then kind of I was getting a bit annoyed by these people they would they would kind of you know they would single out people etc I mean I'm not gonna rip on them too much but then I kind of made a document about it um, about why people they shouldn't like these players and the document was a mistake I was completely out of line, you know, I offended a lot of people, and yeah, I mean, the document was, was bad, to put it bluntly, but not as bad as some of the stuff that had been happening previously. But when Ubisoft gets involved, and when their management gets involved and takes sides based on who people are, that's when you have a problem. The document was, was not out of line compared to some of the stuff that people had done in the past, what people had said. But because it was attacking players that were big in the community, that the community managers liked, that means they would take sides of them, and that my friends and myself would get, uh, I'm not going to say in trouble, but, or persecuted, but kind of like in the shit for it. I mean, and blocked for it. That's not professional, that's not how this kind of thing should be handled. I mean, when you get banished from a community from by uh, Ubisoft themselves without them at all even looking into what happened, without them conducting any thorough research at all, basing it completely off this document without even thinking about it, that's when you have a problem and that's why I kind of keep on about it today. That's what um, I'm annoyed about, and that's what a lot of my friends are annoyed about, and that Ubisoft would discriminate against a group of players just because they're not as big. I mean, we might not be the most righteous group of people, obviously we're far from it, but the fact that Ubisoft would pick sides like that is somewhat petty, actually. And the fact that these people, who despite insulting loads of people in the past, they get into absolutely no trouble with Ubisoft at all, that most of them are still friends with community managers, like if they just ignore and that ever happened, like if they're just suppressing uh, lower members of the community, and frankly it's not good enough, it's not professional. 
But I'm not going to keep on because I think I've explained myself enough, really. I mean, I'm not the antagonist here. I'm not the person who deserved the hate. But the other thing I want to say is when players who don't know much about the situation and about the drama and the full background story of it, it frankly, it pisses me off when they, they get involved. I mean, I'm not saying these people shouldn't have an opinion and shouldn't be allowed to express what they think, but when you don't know much about what's going on and all you do know is that your favourite YouTuber is being attacked, it's not right to take sides with them based on merit alone. People need to need to understand what is going on and they really need to kind of look into things. I mean, I'm sick of being on Twitter and people opposing me based on, yeah, because I'm having a go at these people, fairly in my opinion. And the other thing that annoys me is when I get people saying, you know, oh, you're obsessed with this. And frankly, that just isn't the case. I mean, that's a rumour, so to speak. I'm not obsessed. I mean, I would say that I'm passionate about this topic, but there is a difference between being passionate and being obsessed with someone or something. If I was obsessed with these people, obsessed with this topic, then I would probably find out their phone numbers, who they were, stuff like that. I would be harassing them on a personal level. That's not what I do. And a lot of the time when I point out tweets that they've been saying about me behind my back or commenting about me behind my back or about my friends or about implying me, etc. I don't go out of my way to find these comments. People send them to me, actually. I've got a large number of friends, uh, etc. who will send me these comments and these tweets. So, yeah, and then once you get them sent to you, once they're under your nose, it's hard to avoid them. You can't just look at these things and then not take action upon it. So, yeah, I hope that um, clears up somewhat. And actually, what I'm thinking about is perhaps um, you could actually tell me what you think in the comments about this whole thing. And actually, I'm considering a Q&A about this. You know, maybe if there's something which I haven't clarified, I mean... In, I've been rambling a bit, so I'm guessing I haven't really covered everything, I haven't clarified a whole lot, but if you, if there's something you think I've missed or I haven't explained myself, then please, please feel free to um, comment and question me and ask me whatever you want. I mean, chances are is I will get back to you or even make another commentary where I address these questions. I mean, I'm not going to answer you if you're offensive or insulting in any way, I will just ignore them, but... And actually, not just about this topic, you can send me questions about other things as well. I mean, I'm keen to kind of answer your questions, you know, that's how it is. So, I don't want this commentary to be too long, so I think I'll actually um, wrap it up here for now. Yeah, maybe I'll do another one in the future, but I just hope this kind of clears a lot of things up. Alright, thank you, peace.